Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Kim. Today is Monday, May 24th, 2021. And we begin with Simone Biles pushing the boundaries of her sport and physics yet again. The 24-year-old gymnast launched herself into another record at the U.S. Classic in Indianapolis Saturday when she landed the Yurchenko Double Pike, a triumph that no other woman has done in competition. The ridiculously dangerous vault starts with a round-off back handspring onto the horse, followed by a double somersault. She's been practicing it for over a year, but because this was her first meet in 587 days, Simone had to remind herself to do it like training and not overdo anything. The move has gone viral, as have detailed shots of the rhinestone goat on her leotard, a nod to her status as the greatest of all time. According to the Washington Post, once the Yurchenko double pike is officially recognized by the International Gymnastics Federation, it will be the fifth skill named in her honor. A massive record-setting chunk of ice 70 times the size of Manhattan and bigger than the entire state of Rhode Island just waved Antarctica goodbye. The newly formed berg was spotted by the European Space Agency shortly after it split from the Rani ice shelf and floated into the Weddell Sea. It's reportedly 106 miles long, 15 miles wide, and for now the largest iceberg in the world. Iceberg calving takes place when the edges of a glacier crack. It's a natural process and does not lead to a rise in sea levels because whatever broke off was already a part of a floating ice shelf. A 12-year-old boy from Michigan was already a pretty terrific big brother. Now he's also a hero. Deacon Ashmore was playing outside with family and friends when two angry dogs came out of nowhere. Instead of running, the sixth grader stepped between the animals and his younger sisters and brother to give them time to get away. They did, Deacon didn't. He took the bites, ended up in surgery, and on crutches. One of Deacon's teachers wrote to the Detroit Free Press to let them know her student had done something truly heroic. He doesn't understand all the fuss and, according to his mom, thinks anyone would have done the same thing. The Ingenuity Chopper was supposed to take five flights on Mars and call it a day, but NASA has decided to go off script. Sometime this week, the little whirly bird that could will lift off again and explore previously uncharted territory. According to CNN, it'll fly at 9 miles per hour for just over two minutes, take some 3D pictures, then touch down at a new airfield. This is the first time Ingenuity will be on its own without the Perseverance rover watching over it. In other Kid News notes, Simone Biles wasn't the only athlete making history this weekend. 50-year-old Phil Mickelson won the PGA Championship, making him the oldest golfer to ever win a major. He also won the crowd's heart. In the middle of the final round, with the game on the line, he took the time to gift a chip-in ball to a young spectator in a wheelchair. One person posted the video with the caption, Win, lose, or draw, you are the man for doing this. The PGA Tournament was played on Kiowa Island in South Carolina and wrapped just in the nick of time. A heat dome is settling in over the East Coast this week and will scorch 30% of the U.S. population with temps in the 90s. And finally, singer Lil Nas X is a few shades of red after splitting his obviously too tight black pants on Saturday Night Live. The wardrobe malfunction happened while he was performing his new song, Montero, and while it gave him pause, didn't stop him from finishing. Yesterday, he tweeted, I do a lot of planned stuff, but ripping my pants on live television is not one of them. That's it for Kid News this morning. Now, our Kid News quiz. Simone Biles just became the first woman to do what in competition? The Yurchenko Double Pike Vault. The record-setting iceberg that broke off Antarctica is bigger than what U.S. state? Rhode Island. How did a 12-year-old from Michigan save his siblings? By stepping between them and two angry dogs. Who split his pants on live TV? 
Lil Nas X. In One for the Road, teen parent squabbles are common, but digging a den after one? Not so much. A young man in Spain did just that, though, after his parents took issue with what he planned to wear into town. Andres Canto was 14 years old when, instead of changing, he decided to stay home and begin chipping away at his new homey hangout. It took six years, but Andres has now carved out a cavernous young man cave, nine and a half feet deep. The underground hut has a sitting room, bedroom, Wi-Fi, speakers, and heat. Videos went viral, prompting visits from local authorities to make sure it's safe. Andres must have gotten the all clear because he's about to start another expansion. Before we go, it's time to shout out our teachers and their classrooms, starting with Mrs. Waltman at Beetle Lake Elementary in Battle Creek, Michigan, Mrs. Nelson and her wingers at Sunnyside Elementary in Red Wing, Minnesota, where they have grit and don't quit. Mrs. Sia and her superstars at Scottsdale Christian Academy in Phoenix, Arizona. Mrs. McVie and her alien-loving class at Premier Charter School in St. Louis, Missouri. And Mrs. Easterwood, whose class rocks at Rogers Elementary in Rogers, Texas. Thanks for listening, everyone. We'll see you back here for more Kid News tomorrow morning. 